mind your own business mind your own blank business leave me alone it's none of your business mind your own business this is one of those idioms and expressions that probably all of us have heard on more than one occasion in our life <clears throat> i was reflecting on it this morning this may have ties back to the bible but mind your business actually a Occurred and was used and minted on the first coins in the United States in 1792. As far as appearing in writing, I'm not sure when it did, probably long before that. But what does it mean? We all know what it means, right? It means keep your nose out of it, pay attention to your own matters, don't get involved in affairs that are not yours or that you're not a direct participant in. Uh, you know, none of none of mind your own beeswax became popular in the 1930s. That's another way of saying, hey. Keep out of it. Mind your own business. You know, pay attention to your own little red wagon. There's so many different ways of saying it. But basically, it's kind of an, an, a rude way of saying it's none of your business. Keep out of it. I don't want to hear your opinion. Um, I think there's initials MYOB in capitals people use now on texting and, and social media and things. I've never had anybody say MYOB to me online, but uh, I did see that that is a way of saying mind your own business, meaning... I don't, I don't want to hear it from you. Now, what does this mean when it comes to building and supersizing and growing our businesses? I agree that it is imperative, meaning urgent, very important, that we mind our own business, that we pay attention to our own business, and we know what's going on in the various aspects and areas of our business. So often as our businesses grow and supersize, we lose track of the culture, of the values, of the uh, the personalities and the people involved in our business. But we need to remember that everything, every aspect of our business is an extension of us. Every person that joins our business, how they behave, what they say, how they act on behalf of the business is in fact speaking for the business. We need to be aware of that. Uh, as far as being aware of the competition, we need to be aware of the competition, but we don't need to mind their business. We need to mind our own business. Doesn't mean we don't do research and pay attention to what they're doing, but we do not let that dictate what we do and how we serve our customers. If it gives us an idea to serve our customers in a better way, great, but we don't worry as much about them as we worry about what we're actually doing, becoming, and creating for ourselves. Now, as I was reflecting on this idiom today, I realized that whenever I I personally have used mind your own business. And I, I don't know that I've said, hey, mind, I probably have to my sisters or to uh, other people that were overstepping in different areas and aspects of my life that was really none of their business, aka my marriage, which was a disaster, by the way. But I didn't want to hear it from anyone else, right? I only wanted to deal with it myself because it wasn't their business. And oftentimes people that are giving you advice live in glass houses and they shouldn't be advising you on your relationship issues because every relationship is different. Same with businesses and business partnerships. But one thing I realized and finally discovered was that anytime I was told to mind my own business in a way that meant don't ask any questions, it was because the other person was involved in something that was wrong they were either doing something wrong or they knew about something wrong that was going on and they they didn't want to divulge that uh, i can think of that in in several business situations as well as some personal situations where somebody was telling me something but they were lying which is wrong and so basically it was it's none of your business mind your own business because they knew of some wrongdoing or they were doing something wrong um, in the quality area i found that pretty often uh, in corporate America and with my own businesses, whenever something goes wrong, somebody somebody kind of knew about it or had an idea about it, but were afraid to speak up. So I always would work to change the culture and make it okay to bring up when something goes wrong. Because it's usually got nothing to do with the people involved. It's a, a missing process or something we didn't think about that we need to create a system and a process for so that it doesn't happen in the future. And the only way we can create that process or system is if everybody knows about it. So somebody has to be courageous enough to speak up for what's right. And that that is minding your own business, right? It's it's your job. It's your responsibility to communicate backwards and forwards in any organization that you're a part of. Otherwise, <clears throat> as far as advice and opinion sharing and things go, I think the best policy is just wait to be asked for help. I mean, we all, especially as parents, want to jump in and help solve problems or save 
our children, you know, negative or hard, tough life experiences. So we want to give them advice. We want to tell them. I always like to share stories of when I was a kid and the things that I've done with them. Although that horrified my ex-husband sometimes. I'm like, yeah, like you never made mistakes. He just didn't want the kids to know that he ever did things that were kind of naughty when he was a kid. And I'm like, uh, pretty much all kids do that. That's how we learn. So advice, wait to be asked. But when we see our kids running into a brick wall, it's pretty hard to wait to be asked to, to give them advice. So sometimes we need to stick our noses into other people's business. But for the most part, we should mind our own business. We shouldn't throw stones. We should, certainly shouldn't criticize and share our opinion with other people about things they should be doing if we're not doing those things in our own life. Uh, that's one of those lessons we learned that, you know, that it's the whole people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Don't ever criticize other people and their businesses if your business isn't perfect, right? When my business is perfect, I will criticize other people's businesses. Otherwise, I will just continue to counsel and help and share in ways that I can based on the lessons that I've learned on my and in business experiences. So love to know your experience with this mind your own business. Is it just me that when somebody tells me to mind my own business, I know that something is wrong and that uh, some, if it is to do with my business, I'm going to dig and find out more information. If it isn't to do with my business, then I just go about minding my own business. But uh, is that just me that I've discovered that or is that your experience as well? Share your experience with mind your own business and I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting mental well-being related idiom for the month of March and uh, have a great day. Bye. It's Friday. Have a great weekend.